this cube is called as mastermorphic or megamorphic or you can say paramorphic all the steps are similar to 3 by 3 in this case this is a centerpiece in 3 by 3 centerpiece is made up of one color in master morphic centerpiece is made of two colors in the in 3 by 3 H piece is made up of two colors in this cube H piece is made up of one color in this cube we have two types of corner pieces this is a corner piece with three colors and this is also a corner piece so this is a corner piece this is a centerpiece this is centerpiece this is a centerpiece corner this is an edge this is an edge and this is an edge now if you see if you observe properly this is the cross this is the cross if you see the if you see the thing here also we have one two three four five and six six centerpieces similar to three by three we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve each pieces and eight corner pieces one two three four five six seven and eight so this is exactly similar to three by three this is a this is the way to hold the cube this is the centerpiece and this is the centerpiece and if I want to do R I just do like this this is R this is R it's half turn remember this is very important this is you so this is an H piece this is an H piece so this is you this is L In this cube, the first step is you need to make the centers. In 3 by 3, this step is not there. So first you need to observe. Red is over here. Red is over here. Red is over here. So, this. You can turn it like this. Red. I can turn it like this. So it should be on one plane. Red, red, red. Then blue is over here. I need to turn it like this. Blue is over here. I need to turn it like this. Blue is over here. This is the most important step. Now yellow. I just need to turn it like this. Now I got all the centers in its position. Red, green, blue and yellow this is very important step all the three centers this is center this is of one color should be on one plane green and now similar to three by three we do the cross now luckily this is done this is also done yellow is over here I need to check whether I can fit it. This it's not matching. I'm bringing it down, turning the top. Let us see. For, let us see from this side. Yes, now this is matching. I need a green color. This is not matching. So turn the top. Now this is matching. So this is my first step to cross but if you observe when we do the cross the centers are again misplaced now you again you need to fix the centers without disturbing the cross now this is matching this is not matching this is very important step this step we did for cylinder cube 
so I'm holding it like this I'm holding the centers now I need to twist the center this is very important step please observe it, observe it carefully I'm bringing it down the stays this same step I did for cylinder cube this is matching I can turn it up so now this is matching this is also matching this is not matching so again I'm holding the centers I'm bringing it down turning it away bringing it up so I have the cross and my centers are also on this position then similar to 3 by 3 we do the corners yellow is over here same step I want yellow this this is also a corner piece this is also a corner piece corner piece is made of one color corner, corner piece is made of three color also so this corner piece will go over here so same similar to 3 by 3 down away up back this is done in a green corner I'm searching it's over here it will go up same thing as for 3 by 3 down away up back so down away up back down away up back sorry this is wrongly placed I'm doing down or back it will come down this will go on this side so down away up and back now I'm searching for corner piece yellow green and blue because this is the center piece this is the center piece yellow is over green is over here blue is over here so yellow green and blue same thing I need to repeat down away up back 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 this corner is fixed now the last corner a green green yellow and red green yellow and red it's already here already over here otherwise I need to turn the bottom or turn the top too up back now we'll be doing the middle layer similar to 3 by 3 now this is this I'm doing the middle layer so if I if I put it over here it will go like this so I need to turn the bottom and this will go over here on the right side same formula away down away up back flip down away up back this is done now red color if I hold it like this this will be like this I'm turning the bottom this has to go on the left hand side same thing away down away up back flip down away up back the most important thing in this cube is you should able to see this cross that is very important see this is a cross again this is the cross this is the bottom cross now the green color I need to put it over here same thing away down away up back flip down away up back see it's wrongly placed so if you don't put that under proper this property if you don't make a property then this then this mistake happens so again I need to bring this down away down away up back flip 
down, away, up, back. Away, down, away, up, back, flip, down, away. I need one yellow color. It's over here. So away, down, away, up, back, flip, down, away, up, back. This is the middle layer. I need to turn the cube upside down. So in this case, when you are doing the bottom cross, there are three cases. I, when you get a gel like this, use F, U, R, U dash, R dash, F dash. If you get a sleeping line, sleeping line means this is matching and this is also matching. Then you need to use F, R, U, R dash, U dash, F dash. Sometimes there is a chance that you, you may get only one edge like this. Then you need to do R U R dash U R U U R dash. In this case, I have got a J like this. So I will be turning F U R U dash R dash F dash. Now I have got only one. When you get one, you need to do so. This is matching, this is matching. This is not matching, this is not matching, this is not matching. So when you get one, you need to hold it like this and turn R U R dash U R U U R dash. Now I have got all the edges, then I need to do the corners. I have got one corner, one corner should be on the right side, and this is the last step corners you need to do u r u dash l dash u r dash u dash l similar to 3 by 3 sometimes you need to do down or back down or back also please subscribe to my channel and before doing this you need to study the 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube and also the Cylindrical Cube.